Zoho CRM Tutorial 2023 Step-by-Step -step Tutorial for Beginners Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Zoho, so get let's get straight into it. So first of all, what you're going to do is obviously you're going to go ahead and write Zoho CRM. Now, once we write Zoho, over here we can see Zoho.com Top Rated Sales CRM Software by Customers. So we're just gonna click right over here. And once we do that, we can obviously see it has a lot of things going on. So super fast work, steadfast growth. Bring the very best out of your customer facing teams with robust automation, comprehensive analytics, personalized solutions, and more. Sign up and get started in no time. The fastest implementation in the enterprise CRM market. So we can already see that uh, there's a lot going on and it's a great deal, a CRM. So what we're gonna do is obviously we're gonna sign up with a free trial. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna enter your name, you're gonna enter your email, and then finally, you're gonna enter a strong password that obviously no one else can crack. And once you do that, you're gonna agree to their terms and then click on get started. And once you've done that, as you can see, it's a pretty quick sign up process. It takes you directly to Zoho CRM, pretty fast stuff, pretty quick stuff. And obviously, you know, once all this happens, you're gonna end up here. So CRM welcomes you. You're gonna enter your company name. So I'm just gonna enter anything random right now. It doesn't really matter. And then it says load sample data. This is basically a data stream that you're gonna give to your Zoho CRM because obviously without a data stream, you can't really like configure the data that you want to figure. So please do remember to have a good data stream and to load it in. So you're just gonna click on get started. And once you click on get started, here we are. Hi, we're happy to have you on board. Where would you like to start? Now you can either take a whole tour of Zoho or you can show, uh, like have Zoho show you how to migrate your data, like how to shift your data stream from another platform to this. Now you can do this, do both of these in your own time if you want to, but I'm just gonna skip for now. Like if you want to skip these partialities too, you can just skip straight away, doesn't matter. Now, once you have done that, you will end up here. Now you're probably wondering what this is. This is the main Zoho home place or the main Zoho dashboard. Now in this dashboard, as you can see, you have a lot of things going on. You have your open deals, your untouched deals, your calls, your leads, your open tasks, your meetings, today's leads, my deals closing this month, and your pipeline deals by stage. Basically, this area shows all the options that you're gonna get over here, but it gives a brief overview of them. Like, let's say you're in a hurry and you don't really want to go and check something in detail. You're gonna come here in the dashboard and you're gonna get a summary of all of it. So it's, it's pretty good stuff. Like, uh, the dashboard's a pretty good place to be in. And then you can also have different views. So if you go in the classic view, as you can see, you have a classic view over here where you can get all these things like your open tasks, your amount by stage and your meetings today. But let's say you want to see all the things that are going on. You can just do this and look at that. You're going to see all the things one by one. And then more, more or less, you can also go into the manager's overview. Like uh, you can see from the manager's point of view, you can see the revenue, how many deals closed, how many deals were created and more stuff like that. So yeah, that's what the dashboard does. And then obviously you can also uh, view the dashboard in full screen if you want to. And you can also add a component in the dashboard if you want to. Now you can either get it from widgets or you can get it from dashboard. We're gonna do it this. Select the component. I'm gonna go with the um, revenue this month and I'm gonna name it total payout. I'm gonna just name it that, let's say. And then I'm gonna click on save. So as you can see, you're gonna take revenue, you're gonna bring it here and you're gonna call it total payout. So yeah, that's pretty basic stuff and uh, it works great as we can see. So yeah, that's the basic overview of the Zoho dashboard. Now moving on, let's discuss how you can create leads. Now you're probably wondering what leads are. Leads are something you can get over here in this tab and leads are basically your customers or clients that you can get. So to create a lead, you're gonna to come to the leads tab. And once you're in the leads tab, you're gonna come here on this blue button over here where it says create a lead. 
Now you're gonna go on create lead. And once you do that, it's gonna bring you here. And over here, you're gonna start creating your very own lead. So your lead is obviously some user that's already gonna be in your CRM space. And to obviously call someone to your CRM space, you're gonna either you know import a CSV or just add them manually from the settings or context. But let's say if someone's already here, you're gonna add their name you're going to choose their first name or something like that. Okay, you're going to go do that. Uh, you're going to choose the lead owner. Add the name, let's say, Mr. John. And then you're going to give him the title of, let's say, Weiss President. Now, once you do that, you're going to give their phone number. Okay, so let's say I'm going to go with this phone number. Okay, and there we go. So once you give that phone number... You can give their mobile number as well if you want to. Then they have you have the lead source. You can say what is the lead source. It could be advertisement. It could be cold call. It could be employee referral, something like that. Let's go with the online store. And then you're also going to choose the industry they work in. So I'm going to go with large enterprise. And then we're going to choose the annual revenue our leads make us. So let's go with um, with 50,000, okay? And uh, once you've done that, you're gonna choose the leads company. Again, just add a random name, doesn't matter. Choose uh, your leads last name, okay? So I'm gonna go with this. And you're gonna choose your leads email, okay? And once you have added the email, you're gonna add their fax number. If they have one, you're gonna add a URL to their website. Okay, I'm going to YouTube.com right now. Uh, you're going to put in their status if they're like a junk lead, lost lead, something like that. So I'm going to go with contacted. You can also put attempted to contact, contact in future, but I'm just going to put contacted. You're going to put the number of employees. You're going to put in the rating that the lead has. I'm going to go with acquired. You're going to put in their Skype ID, secondary email. Then you're going to put in their address, description. And once you have done all that, you, you're you just going to click on save. And once you click on save, you're going to successfully add a lead for yourself. So once you've added a lead, pretty basic stuff, pretty nice stuff. Like it's, as you can see, it was so easy just to create a lead like that. So yeah, that's how you create a lead. And to see your leads, you're going to just go on all leads. And once you go on all leads, you can uh, obviously go on the created leads, my leads. And once you go on my leads, you're going to see the leads that you specifically created. So yeah, now once we've discussed about that, let's go and discuss contacts. Now in the contacts tab, you can basically create contacts that, like the people you can contact with, stay in contact with. So this is the same as leads. You're going to create this the same way you created leads and it's pretty basic and easy stuff. So do the same process add the name, account, stuff like that. And uh, once you've done that, just click on save and you have added your own contact as well. And then obviously we're gonna go on accounts and in the account section, obviously, again, you're gonna go and create account, same way to add the account. Then you have the deal section, same way to add the deals. So yeah, respectively, all the things are added in the same way, but then finally comes the campaigns. And again, you can create campaigns for your plans and stuff. And it's pretty much the same process, okay? Like creating some plan in this is so easy that it's like amazing. So yeah, I recommend you start using Zoho right away because it is a great software to use. And it's totally free. That's the best part about it. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, please uh, drop down a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. But yeah, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.